you will discover in your life from today that the Almighty is the one that has made you. And what He made you for will be accomplished in Jesus' name. GCK King's Circle with Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumui. Growth doesn't just happen. It requires a great deal of intentionality. Welcome to the GCK King Circle. I am Mary Ogundokun, the host for today's episode. And with me is Desmond Nebwe. On this platform, kings, queens, princes, and princesses are nested, nurtured, and mated for royalty. Speaking about being nested, nurtured, and needed for royalty. Today, Dr. W.F. Kumwe will shed more light on this subject. So sit back and be blessed with this musical interlude from a renowned gospel artist. I just want to speak the name of Jesus Till every dark addiction starts to break Declaring there is hope and there is freedom I speak Jesus Your name Your name is power Your name is healing Your name is life Break every stronghold Shine I'm certain you were greatly enriched by that beautiful piece. Desmond, were you? Yes, I was. Everyone desires growth. What is beyond mere wishes? Absolutely. I look forward to being the CEO of a renowned fashion brand in the nearest future. That's a valid aspiration. And you'll get there soon. I agree. Now, let's listen to Dr. W.F. Kumui as he gives us useful gems for growth by possessing the right mindset. The fellow who stands still is afraid to go on. That fellow never gets near glory. For the person that is willing to move towards glory, that willingness will take you to where you will be. That's the secret. You have the mind of willingness and be obedient. He shall eat the good of the land. Now, in being willing to be ignited, I'm going to use the letters of that word ignited. Number one, I invited by God to glory. Every other voice will invite you to disgrace. But when you hear the voice of the Lord, it might call you to repentance. It might call you to make right something in your life. It might call you to pray. It might call you to leave that old path and come to the new path. It's an invitation to glory. She there is given all of grace and glory. When you come like that and you respond to the invitation of the God of glory and then he gives you grace the grace that sets free the grace that transforms your life and then you are not a mediocrity anymore the grace you never have that grace you will have today and three you are numbered for greatness by God God knows your name he knows your number and he's calling you his number you said I'm choosing you. He knew you were a sinner. And all the same is said, I'll die for him. I'll die for her. I'll take her sins away. I'll brush her up. I'll blot all the sins out. And I choose her. And I number her as one of my followers. I is impacted by the goodness of God. He invites. He gives. He numbers you as one of his people and then he doesn't leave you like that he imparts you the goodness of God leads you to say if God is so good to me as a sinner what will happen if I become 
a son, a daughter of God. If when I was far away, the Lord manifested his goodness upon my life. What will happen if I come and I'm reconciled with him? He wants to impact your life with goodness more and more. If you have never given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, come in and you say, Lord, I see your goodness. You preserve my life. You keep me in health. I'm even making progress in my endeavors. I see your goodness. And because of that, you come in in repentance and total reliance on the Lord. And faith in the Lord. And more goodness of the Lord will come in your life. See, there is transformed by grace for glory. Now, the world you may not understand is going down, 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 down. Anybody who's going to go up will have to change and turn around and go the opposite direction. Think about that. The traditions of the world, the practices of the world, the sanctity of life. And thinking about moral direction is going down, down, and down. And you want to go up because glory is not down. Glory is up. When the grace of God comes into our lives, it does something. That grace will transform our life and will take us from the ground level and take you to the sky level. And then because you want the glory of God in your life, be not conformed to this world and if you're going to go up and amount to anything at all then you must be transformed by the renewing of your mind then is there a new stage for growth towards glory you know what the so are in at excellence they grow every day let me explain you know you look at a simple thing like vocabulary and today you learn a vocabulary a word you never knew before when you pick up something in your life you were afraid to do before and every day you're moving on every day you are growing when you do that every day every day by the strength of the lord by the help of the lord you'll be growing towards glory the last one there d designed for greater grace of glory there are grades of glory there are levels of glory and the lord designs us for greater grades in glory slowly and gradually and patiently you're moving on even when you're tired wake up even when it appears i cannot read another page again of this textbook my brain is blocked move on read at least one page more after that another one page more i'll soon stop another one page more it is that patience in life a day at a time i'll conquer that i'll conquer that problem and patiently 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 you are going on you will arrive i will arrive the blood of Jesus, the blood of the Lamb, will cleanse and erase every condemnation, every corruption, every sin, every bad habit, all the things that hinder us from living for glory and living to the glory of God. I pray the blood of Jesus will wash everything away in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, the assurance that you have forgiven, the assurance that you have cleansed, the assurance that you have transformed, the assurance that you have translated everyone give that assurance to everyone in jesus name lord the god of glory take your sons and your daughters and your people the believers to a higher level of glory in jesus name we well, thank you lord because we know you have answered in jesus name we pray you received the charge from the man of god and you need to identify touch points for growth in your life and take action. That's right. And in taking action, the first thing to do is to accept the invitation from Christ. If you'd like to listen to the full message, the link is in the caption below. We believe 
that you've been impacted, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui would love to hear from you. Please visit our social media platforms and don't forget to join us on the next episode of GCK King's Circle. Be your dream. Be royal.